Every year, thousands of fans gather at the Jacob Javits Center to celebrate New York Comic Con, the largest pop culture convention on the East Coast. Once inside, fans were immediately captivated by the show floor, a room jam-packed with fantastic characters and exhibits from comics, cinema, and more. When touring through the floor this year, fans learned all about Super Fight, a card game designed to stir up a conversation. Basically, it's a game based on, you know, it's that sort of classic argument you'd have. You're like, oh, the Hulk versus Iron Man, you know, like, who do you think would win? You take your character, you give them some crazy attributes, set up your argument, and then you just have to you sort of use logic and explain why you would win a fight. This would be an example of a fight. We've got like a T-Rex that can stretch like rubber and just drank five energy drinks. Seems like a pretty formidable opponent, fighting a bionic rabid polar bear. Sticking with popular card games, the 1998 fantasy game Yu-Gi-Oh! brought fans of all ages to believe in the power of the cards. Tell me how the game has changed over the years and how fans reacted to the changes. Yeah, so every single time there's a new anime series for Yu-Gi-Oh! release, we change up the physical card game a little bit. We'll introduce a new monster type or you know, a new rule, change the field around a little bit. So dueling right now is completely different as it was like a year ago. Every single time we have a refresh like that, people get very excited because it's something new to experience because Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the few card games where you can play with cards that have, like, the first cards ever printed, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Mirror Force, you can still play now. Inside the booth, fans got an inside look at the new legendary decks that will be released later this fall. They also got to test their dueling skills and immortalize themselves on a personalized token card. Beyond the physical cards, the app Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links gives fans the opportunity to play on the go. I am here to see uh, the response of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, to see people play it and see how they respond. Despite Yu-Gi-Oh! being uh, originally a Japanese franchise, I'm very glad it's very popular in the US and that many people are playing it. From the modern world of Yu-Gi-Oh! to the Valium period of the Middle Ages, medieval times took everyone on a journey through the world of Brave Knights. Medieval Times is a dinner tournament. For those of you that don't know, we offer a medieval feast. We also offer a performance of how it used to be the jousting in the medieval ages. To be part of the Comic Con, it's really fun for us. It's a great experience. Part of exploring the show floor at New York Comic Con is finding cosplayers. Creating a costume of your favorite character can be fun and challenging, especially when it comes to finding the right fabric and, if needed, using special effects makeup. Mood is a huge, well-known company. We're just known for having really good quality fabrics and we're starting to expand into the cosplay world. My company is Symphony Blush and I'm a special effects makeup artist. I am promoting my business, just trying to get any producers that are looking for gore or if they need to make a superhero or even Yoda. It could go for from an hour to five hours, depending on exactly what we're doing, the makeup, the gluing on. With over 100 exhibitors, touring New York Comic Con can be exhausting. Luckily, Death Wish Coffee was on the floor sampling their powerful coffee blend. You know, we developed the blend using our, our, our unique roasting process and special beans from around the world to, to have the world's strongest coffee, or the top selling coffee on Amazon. Uh, you might have saw our Super Bowl commercial uh, last year, so yeah, it's been, it's been quite a ride, an adventure, and, and we're just here to like celebrate comics and have a good time. Indeed, there is a little of everything for every pop culture devotee, including those who wish to explore a galaxy far, far away. We're here, uh, partnered with Disney and Verizon to promote Star Wars The Last Jedi. All of the items in it are uh, props from the film itself, used by the actors and can be seen in the film. So it's a lot of fun, real cool stuff, and any Star Wars fan is going to be really into this kind of thing. For the geeks at heart and first-timers, the show floor at New York Comic Con is a place for exploring pop culture to its core. For BronxNet, this is Lizzie Dominguez.